Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to use Azure Privileged Identity Management that is PIM PIM Now we will see how to enable just-in-time administration and control the number of users who can perform privileged operations We will also learn about the different directory roles available as well as newer functionality that includes PIM being expanded to role assignments at the resource level so let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there I'm logged on to the portal here all right what a sec there you go okay and this this video requires creating a user that will be used for PIM so I'm gonna go to the Azure portal I'm gonna go open the cloud shell and I am gonna create this uh, storage for the cloud shell There we go. Okay. This will take a few seconds to launch the cloud shell. I'm going to do it. Okay, here it goes. So now I'll run the following command to Authenticate. I'll do connect. Is your AD command not form? Inside it. Let me just try to create a user here. Okay, I I changed it to the PowerShell console and I run connect as you already and it worked now I will run the command to create an AD user and password in the default domain that is my default directory I'm gonna copy paste those commands I am gonna do it uh, password file new object type name okay then I am gonna do this and I'm gonna do this you can do these by creating a new user in your Azure AD. I'm just doing it from the Azure Cloud Shell. Isha Bureau Simpson, password profile. This is what I mentioned for the variable. Use a UPN at and account enable is true. Nickname and right. Okay, so it's already there. I have a Isabella user. And if I change it to something like Isabella John. Let's see. Okay, so it it is already there that is why it is not working no problem so if I look for my user let me go to my Azure AD click on users I have Isabella Simon and this is the account okay all right perfect So now to use a privileged identity management, I have to make sure that I have the Azure AD premium, a premium P2 version, not the free version. And I can enable that on my, on a trial basis. So if I go to my default directory here, 
and if I go with I click on licenses then I click on uh, all products and now I click, click on try buy now you will have to click the drop down arrow and select activate on the Azure AD premium pre 2 product Activate. There was the activate button below. Successfully activated is your ADP MP2 trial. All right. We may need to log out of the Azure portal and log in again for this to refresh. So if I go here, I click on sign out. I'm going to sign back in and come again after exiting from all the browsers. Okay, I'm logged back in. Now I'm going to go to the Azure portal and I would click on the Azure AD Privileged Identity Management. So uh, if I click on uh, all services, let's see if I see that or not. Here. gonna take some time it comes I click on the is your ready privileged identity management okay I click on here so what it does it protects the organization from the risk of compromised permanent privileged user accounts by managing controlling and monitoring the privileged identity so if I click on here I am on to the privileged identity management console then I click on Azure resources under manage view if you will click on discover resources here so it will it is the discovery experience that comes for you so on the discovery plan we have to use the resource state filter and select a resource type so if you say it is unmanaged right so if I go on all here so it, it is this subscription that I have and uh, if you click on resource type here as well so click here This is I have placed a check mark besides my Azure subscription here and I click on manage resource. It says onboarding selected resource for management. PIM will manage all child object objects for the selected resources. Please confirm to continue. I click on yes. All right, it says onboard resource succeeded. Here it is. Everything went well. Okay, now I'm going to do the assigning the Active Directory roles. Now I'm going to make a user eligible for this role. So, in the following task, we will make a user eligible for an Azure AD directory role. So, I go back to my all services. I go back to my Azure AD privileged identity management. I am here and I'm going to select an Azure AD roles. Assign, activate, approve, audit. Azure AD PIM is a premium feature that enables you to limit standing admin access to privileged roles and much more. So if I go here, I am going to click on roles under manage. And these are the roles that I can assign to a user. Right? If I go on, click on add assignments.
so this is the add managed members so we'll select the uh, select role drop down here so this is if you this this is the roles and i'm going to select and let's say i'm going to select billing administrator this one okay it says no member selected i'm going to click on it and i'm going to select isabella for billing administrator role here i'm going to click on select and i'm going to click on next and these are the assignation period like it's going to start and it's going to end in august eligible assignment type is eligible or active I'm going to click on sign. So they are assigning role member to the Isabella for as a billing administrator. Now I'm going to activate and deactivate prim roles. So I'm going to activate a role here. So when when you need to uh, take on an Azure AD directory role, you can request activation by using the My Roles navigation option in the PIM. So if you go here and uh, So if I open up the in private window here and I'm going to go portal zero.com and I'm going to sign in as Isabella. Okay. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to open up a new tab to look for Isabella user account and password. All right, I am logged in as Isabella here. Isabella at we do asralive.onmicrosoft.com and I'm going to click on all services and I'm going to look for PIM. You can give it in the search box as well. I'm going to go to the pass, uh, the privilege identity management. I'm going to click on Azure AD roles. I have assigned the activity here. I'm going to click on activate your role as in I'm logged in as Isabella here. So I'm activating my role. So eligible roles. This is the roles that I'm eligible for billing administrator because as an admin as the global admin I went into the roles and assigned Isabella the billing administrator role I'm going to click on activate so on the additional verification required click to continue next So the, we only have to authenticate once per session. So we have to run through the visit here. Authentication type, office phone. Okay, so this is something, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I verified Isabella's uh, access through my phone number. So Microsoft will send you a text message on the uh, verification required page you will enter your phone number to do the lab and then Microsoft uh, there would be a code that will come into your uh, messages enter it to verify your identity so now if you would uh, once we are returned to the Azure portal enter an activation reason and click activate you mentioned I and see you working on a ticket or whatever it is you click on activate here so it is activating the role it says your activation is successful, validating, validating that your activation is successful, activation complete, the link below to sign out and log back in to start using your newly created activity role. It will take some time here, let me pause it. Okay, it says it is done. So by default, roles do not require approval unless configured explicitly in the settings. If the role does not require approval, it is activated and added to the list of uh, active roles. 
if you want to use the rules right away follow the steps in the next section so now we are we want to use the rule immediately after the activation so it is activated as you can see so now if i'm going to click on uh, sign out here and log in again back with isabella's identity here here so i'm logging back again with the isabella so i have the billing administrator role acts access now because uh, my manager has approved the access using the pim so once the rule has been activated it automatically deactivates so you may remember i mentioned the time as 8 hours uh, the default time so after 8 hours that will automatically be deactivated but if if you complete your administrator task early like isabella is done with the work i can also deactivate the role manually in azure ad privileged identity management so like i am still logged in as isabella here so this is i'm logged in as isabella i would go to my pim here privileged identity management then I'm, okay i'm done with my work i don't want this role to be further activated i click on my roles and I see that the it is active active roles. See the billing administrator role is active. I'm logged in as Isabella account, and the end time is this. And I can click on deactivate to deactivate this role, and I'm click on deactivate. It's deactivating my role. See the role is deactivated. So now if I want to cancel a pending request, like if I do not require activation of a role that requires approval, I can cancel a pending request at any time. And if I go to uh, I'm going roles, I'm gonna click on uh, this is the Azure Ready role. I'm gonna refresh it. So it is asking me to activate it again. Active roles, I do not see expired roles. Would list here. So if I go back as administrator, I go for PIM here. I click on Azure AD Privileged Identity Management. I click on Azure AD Roles. And I click on pending request. So there are no pending requests here. And if I click on approve request, so there are none. So it would list here. And if I do not want to activate it after setting it that this requires the permission, I click on the role. So if I go on assignments, and if I go to member filter, I go for Isabella again, select. It says that Isabella is a billing administrator. I can remove this assignment or I can update this assignment from here. So I hope this was informative to all of you guys. If you have any queries, please mention them in the comment section. I see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.